Uh, good morning, folks. Sorry, I haven't been on for a little while. Um, I've been laid up for a bit. I had um, spinal injections um, done about a week and a half ago, and the wife's only allowed me to do light duties at the moment. Um, so we're just going to do a, a little potato reveal. These ones are. Let me just check. I knew that. These are Apache potatoes. I've already got one on the top of the bucket here, so I'll just show you what they look like. So the red ones with like the creamy colour slithers in, or you get some that are obviously a bit more pronounced on the colours. But what I'll do is I'll set up and then we'll do a little turnout and we'll see how we go. Right, hopefully you can see all right. I'm having a little bit of trouble with the camera. Right, hopefully you can see that all right. these for putting the bits into try not to bounce the camera over All right, now the compost is quite wet because we had a, a heavy rainfall last night Always a brilliant thing. And we do have some of these horrible little creatures in there. The old slugs. And again, a few slug eggs. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see these on the camera, but that's something to look out for if you're reusing your compost. I'm not sure if you can see from that picture, but the little clear sort of balls are the slug eggs. Put them over there for the birds. Seed potato. So this is how bad the quality of the purchased compost is getting because we're finding bits of glass so this so-called organic peat free compost that's supposed to be saving the planet that's what's going on with it not impressed There's so much rubbish that they seem to put, be putting into the composts. The quality has dropped right down.
think I might have to do another bucket. So bear with me for a second.
I don't think that's it now. I'll re tub up the compost a bit later on. Uh, let me just grab the camera. Spin you around. Uh, there we go. It's not a huge yield off of them, but the taste of them is absolutely gorgeous. The only ones I'd had that this year didn't come out too well. If I'll just go around here a bit. Because obviously I've started cutting the tops back off of Sonic now. So these ones there are the Kestrels that are ready to go. That's the last, oh sorry, that's the Apaches. That's the last two of my Kestrels that I had and they're lovely. But the Sarpo Miras, they, I again I think it's a lot of it to do with the compost but they really didn't do a lot. And the taste of them isn't very nice and they're literally only any good for mashed potato so at least then you can put some other bits into it the ratty are just starting to die back now so they're not much longer and then the others i can't even remember what they are i know there's a purple or blue annalise at the end can't remember what that one is but they're getting there so obviously cucumelons they're growing nicely as you can see, let's have a, let's see if I can get a little piggy there. So you can see the fruit starting to develop. Right, so, uh, right now, as I say, everything's a bit of a mess because I got laid up for a little while. So the chilies and that are all starting to get a bit overgrown. I've got to stand them back up again. Tomatoes. What I'm doing with a lot of the tomatoes that I've got now is I'm just going to let them run. I'm going to let them get as many spurs on as they want, see what fruit I can get, and do a big green tomato chutney nearer the end of the season. That's the cucumbers. I've only had one fruit off there, but there's quite a few little baby ones on there. But again, it needs spraying because I'm getting a lot of the black flying out on it. Now, these ones, if I can get down that low, hang on one second. All right, these are actually spring onions. They're the ones that I had growing in the polytunnel. Now, we don't eat a vast amount of salad, as you can probably tell by the amount of these I've got left. So what I did was I left them, let them bulb up, and then obviously harvested them. They've been drying for about a week, week and a half, but... Probably later on this afternoon, if I'm okay, I'm going to start prepping them and I'm going to use them for spring onions. Not spring onions, I'm back to like a twat. I'm going to use them for pickled onions. Because I think they're about the right sort of size. So, I'm going to put them in with the... I don't know whether to mix them or whether to do one batch of these onions and then the other ones are the smaller shallots I've got. But I haven't figured that one out yet. There's some more of the chilies. Trying to remember what one that is. Oh, well, that's the Armageddon. Yeah. Starting to look quite evil. <laughs> so somebody's going to cop it with him. But yeah, they're all doing okay. They just, like I said, they need a bit of work and staking them out. Putting them up a bit. Again, the same with these tomatoes in here. I'm literally just going to let them run, let them flower, leave it to their own devices, take whatever's there, and green chuckify it. Obviously, that's the Jerusalem's there doing all right. Now, again, I'm going to, because I'm still being secretive with my plant. Now, I put in a few last minute french beans 
on that strip because all the yellow ones I ended up taking out, they, they were horrible. But that's the sweet corn, that's not doing too bad. I'm not expecting vast amounts off it because I think I've overcrowded. Um, that's the last of the French beans that we've been eating. So what I've done is I've left the last of them now and I'm letting them stay on there until they dry out, ready for seed. So you can see they're sort of beaning up. So the shape's coming up. And then I'll just leave them on there, let them dry, take them off the seed. We've got the Ishikuri squash. So we've set a few fruits. Can't see any of the Turks caps yet, but we'll see what happens with them. All right, let's just come down that way and turn. So again, tomatoes just laying there. Just leave them to it for now. Uh, we had one marrow for dinner the other day off that plant. Got another huge one on there. So that'll be the next dinner. Got some big courgettes there. Got some little finger courgettes down there. They're not brilliant. They're the ones I was on about that are shooting stars. Again, yellow courgettes in that one. They're just starting to fruit up well. The last cow plant I've got, because all the others got mullered by caterpillars. Now I think, yeah, that's a Turk's cap squash that's doing there. So there's some little... One little tiny fruit just there. I'm just going to double back the, the vine on itself and see if I can keep it a bit more compact. But we'll see how that goes. Now the polytunnel is looking a mess again. I've got some tomatoes I've got to pick. So... Uh, now the beef steaks didn't work. Most of them just started splitting apart. I think because of the heat we've had. Again, loads of the little mini courgettes. So I'll be using them on something else. That chili's got to be stood up. But that one's doing okay. All the little black ones. Yeah, black ones in there. Some extra tomato plants, but I don't think they're going to come to anything. It's a bit late. The other chilies are just starting to put some fruit onto these ones. The Hungarian hot wax are doing really well. The hot banana are doing okay. Again, there's a lot more tomatoes down there that have got to be picked today. What I'm actually doing with the tomatoes now, again, because like I said, we don't eat a lot of salad, so I'm actually freezing them in batches, and then I'm going to use them for making sauces and such like, but we'll cover that in other videos. Obviously the onions and the garlic and so on. The onions were going through really quick, so I think next year I've definitely got to grow more. These are the pineapple tomatillos and the... Oh, I've forgotten the name of it now. Um... Cape gooseberry, that was it. The cucumber's still growing at the back. But again, the fruit's not been very good. The aubergines are starting to flower up. Again, now, these are the shallots. All these smaller ones are the ones that are going to be going in for the pickling. But the larger ones down here are obviously the ones that we use for like roasting and such like really really nice and I'll save a load of them for my own seed to get some more going so this is what I was on about with the beef steaks they literally just blew apart before I even got a chance to get near them got a load of little aubergines my plants at the back and a nice big weed that one's going to come out soon so just turn back oh, it's a bit hot in here I think that's about it for now. So, right, as I say, sorry I haven't been on for a while. 
um, hopefully back in action properly soon. Um, I might start doing the prep for the pickled onions this afternoon, which I'll start on a video, but that wouldn't be getting pickled until tomorrow after they've been salted or even the following day to try and draw the moisture out, but I'll explain more about that in a bit. All right, so take care for now, and I'll see you later. Bye.